Next we have from Birmingham, Michigan, a man who has also competed here for many years because he is a six-time champion at Mackinac. And I'd like to introduce John Cora and the best part of his family, Carolyn Cora. Hi, I'm John Kolar. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm a world champion stone skipper. The Mackinac Open Stone Skipping Tournament for professionals and amateur stone skippers. This lady from the Dayton Press called me and, you know, she was asking me about stone skipping. And, and I said, what's up on Mackinac Island, you know, and it's, it's the pro invitational. So you've got the top 10 or 15 stone skippers in the world. And many of them are world record holders or were at one time. You know, we're each allowed six stones and, you know, you, you throw on your trucker and the judges judge each one individually and usually there's a crowd of about, you know, three or four hundred people there on the banks watching it. This guy, his name is, uh, well, we call him the voice of the MISS and GC. He announces the starting of the tournament at high noon by saying, Let him who is without Frisbee cast the first stone. You know, we skip our stones and the judges judge them. You know, it's really a, it's a great event. It's always held on the 4th of July on Mackin Island at high noon. One year we had this guy, Arthur the Babe Ring, came from Sonoma, California. He had the world record, I think, of 29 skips. That same year, this other guy, Tex McGee, came. Tex had this world record at like 35 skips for a couple of years. They both walked up to me and said, you know, why are we skipping here? And I said, you guys, this is a tournament. This is a Mackinac Pro Invitational. That's why these are competitive waters. There's a lot to contend with here. You know, stones. You got stones on the beach. You got, you know, the crowd. You got the boats. There's always waves. There's almost always some wind coming across from the bridge. The Mackinac Tournament is a sanctioned event as well. So we're all kind of playing by the same rules. And you know, that helps really keep it competitive and standardized to a certain degree, as, as much as they're willing to standardize it, I guess. You know, probably the most interesting point in time for me is, you know, the Guinness Book of World Records. Back in 1977, um, went up to the Mackinac Island Stone Skipping Tournament, and it, I didn't even really know if the Stone Skipping Tournament was going to be held that day because it was just rainy and foggy in the morning, and went up to the island with a couple buddies of mine. And anyway, I got down to the to the beach with my registration form and my six stones, and. I told the judges, you know, hey, I'm gonna break a world record here, so I want you guys to all pay attention. And, you know, sure enough, I, I skipped a couple of good stones and they were paying attention, and all of a sudden I threw that one stone. And it got in, you know, quick 10 skips and then down the backside of a freighter wave and got in another 14 and then disappeared in the fog and the judges were like, oh. You know, they, they knew they'd seen something phenomenal. And they didn't know what had happened. And at that point, I guess that stone became a scrocker, but the judges were kind of puzzled what to do. So they decided, they agreed they saw 24 skips and then they lost it in the fog. So what they did on the scoreboard is they wrote down 24 plus infinity. And at that time, 24 was the world record. So I had tied the world record by skipping that stone. And that's what got me into the Guinness Book of World Records uh, back in 1977. It was first published in 1978. And uh, I have the page marked with a finger stone here. And uh, 
And these finger spells really aren't good for much else but marking books. <laughs> Anyways, you know, it's under the heading of Ducks and Drakes, which is like right after the dancing band. You know, there's obviously a world record for that, but uh, you know, there's a picture of Warren Clope. He was the guy who had the world record from like 1975, I think. And there he is wearing his black socks and his black tennis shoes and using his uh, or orthodox submarine style sidearm throw. And uh, anyway, so that was what got me in the Guinness Book of World Records and, and that's really what put me on the map. That's the thing I really love to do. I could do that all day just by myself. And I've spent a lot of time, you know, down by the water's edge. Just, just skipping stones by myself. You know, this is a good time to reflect. <laughs>